Hi, this is Rubidium with Premium Beat. Today we are going to look at the five things that you need to know about iPhone camera gimbals. Number one is that you may not actually need a camera gimbal to get smooth footage. With the new generation of the iPhone, this is the iPhone 11 Pro, there is a lot of stabilization built into the camera itself. So you can actually get pretty smooth shots, especially in slow motion, just walking, hand holding the camera. Number two, if you do buy a camera gimbal, it doesn't magically make your shots smoother by itself. The camera gimbal takes out the shake of the hand but it doesn't take out the dipping of the camera as you walk with it. You need to do what's known as the ninja walk or the duck walk, which is sort of a bent leg sort of walk that takes out the vertical movement as you're moving with the camera. If you're able to do this, you will get very smooth camera footage with a gimbal because you're getting both the um, internal stabilization of the iPhone as well as the stabilization of the gimbal itself. The third thing to know is that there are multiple levels of iPhone gimbal, some that give power to the camera, some that have their own dedicated app, and others that are purely mechanical. There are magnetic camera gimbals on the market, but almost all of the ones readily available are um, very light, very easy to use, um, can be balanced pretty quickly. The fourth thing to know is that iPhone gimbals change with each model, just like the iPhone changes with each model. You see here that my iPhone 11 is a little bit too new for this uh, stabilizer and that on the widest lens of the new iPhone 11 Pro, uh, you actually see the stabilizer in the shot um, in the wide angle lens. You can get around this by flipping the camera over and adapting, but generally the manufacturers are making gimbals for the phones that are out now and will update them when new phones come out. The last thing to know about iPhone camera gimbals is that you probably need to take the case off your camera to use them. They're pretty specific in the way that they grip the iPhone. And if you uh, have a case on, they may grip the buttons and activate Siri or you know cancel the video that you're shooting. So you almost certainly need to take your iPhone off uh, to place it in the clamp of the gimbal. And doing this um, leaves your iPhone absolutely unprotected at a time when you're it's most at danger. So uh, you really want to make sure you have insurance or that you know, you know what you're doing and that your iPhone is securely um, attached to a gimbal that's rated for its size and weight. You certainly don't want to be uh, running along the pavement and have your iPhone smash on the ground and crack the screen iPhone gimbals are a really fun way to get uh, great shots for all kinds of uh, travel videos, your own short films, even more serious uses. Because the camera is so small in the iPhone, you can get very, very smooth footage because there's no weight to kind of pull it out and add to the movement of the camera shake. You can also use the iPhone camera gimbal to not even move, but to give very smooth camera shots like pans and tilts because the motors in the gimbal will give you very, very smooth movement. iPhone camera gimbals are a lot of fun and can really take your iPhone filmmaking to the next level. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time.